It's important to get girls involved in STEM activities because those opportunities haven't always been open to uh, women. It used to be, you know, women weren't allowed to go to engineering school and, you know, just kind of building up that camaraderie as well, um, especially when you get out into the industry and even when you're in classes. Just having, you know, another woman in a class with you can help a lot and just kind of showing that those options are open to them. My name is Ali Allred. I'm studying uh, political science as my major and then I have a minor in drone technology and I'm a senior here at Utah State University. So we did a six-week program with the Cashmaker 4-H group here in uh, Logan Valley. We were looking for volunteers two years ago to kind of run the program and I just kind of wanted to give back to the community, inspire some girls to do aviation as well. We brought in about 12 girls. Uh, it was all girls, had them do flight principles. We taught them about how an aircraft flies. We taught them about weather. We brought them over into the maintenance lab and they were able to go over and do some riveting. Taught them a little bit of basics about what goes into aviation maintenance. And then we also had them fly around in the Redbird simulator here on campus. Now you see four white lights. Two will turn red in about 10 or 15 seconds. So those are the piano keys right there. Now make small corrections as we come down to the runway. Small corrections. And as you get closer to the ground, then we'll want to pull backwards when I tell you. But not yet. Okay, so keep the nose up a little bit more. There's one red. Beautiful. Two red. So pull the nose up a little more. Don't hit the fence. Okay, now small corrections. Aim for the middle of the runway. I'm going to let you do this. Okay, pull back on the nose a little bit. Just, just hold that. Small corrections. Keep the wings level. Pull back a little bit more. Pull back a little bit more. Pull back a little bit more. Oh. I'll tell you what. Now we're on the asphalt. Very nice. Pilot came in, a professional pilot from SkyWest. She came in and gave a talk to the girls about what her job entails, how she got to be where she is today. And then on the last day, we were able to take them out to the Logan Airport and have them fly around in our DA-40s. And they got to go up in the aircraft and got to do a little bit of controlling after um, we got them safely up at a safe altitude. Uh, my name is Cami Yuan, and I'm part of the Cash Makers Club and their program of Girls Aviation Camp. First, we learned about all of the controls and how they work, and we also learned about how important the weather is. And for example, if it's super cold, then it's probably going to travel even faster than before, and it'll be slightly harder to land. Um, we've also learned more about simulation, and how we're actually going to fly the plane. And we've learned about all the parts to a plane and even riveting. So when I was a little child, I always really, really liked planes and I wanted to fly like a bird throughout the skies. And when I first heard about this around two years ago, it was a little too late for me to already sign up. So this year was especially lucky for me to have the ability to sign to sign up for this camp and experience what it's actually like for a pilot to take flight. The program I was in is super amazing and I encourage everyone else to come and join in. <laughs> kind of what I want girls to take away with the six weeks program is just the excitement of flight that I have and the excitement to be pursuing aviation and for them to you know, leave this program knowing that this is something that they can do and hopefully they'll come to Utah State to be able to do our flight program with us.